Today on BRS TV, we're going to discuss check valves. Check valves are designed to only allow water to flow in one direction, that's up. That means they do need to be installed vertically. Check valves are typically installed after your return pump on the return plumbing line. This will prevent the water from siphoning out of your aquarium down into your sump if you ever have a power outage or pump failure. This will protect the sump from overflowing, which could possibly damage your stand, equipment, or floors. There are two main types of check valves that are used in reef aquariums. The first one is this flopper type, where water enters through the bottom and opens up an internal flopper. This allows water to pass through and out the top. If the pump is turned off, then water actually is what pushes the flopper back down, and the weight of the water actually is what's causing the seal. The Y-check valve works a little differently. This one uses a weighted piston to close off the water flow. When the water turns on, it pushes the piston up and allows water to flow out the top. When the water turns off, the piston falls, and then again, the weight of the water will actually help with the seal. So which one should you use? Well, the flopper style is very inexpensive, which is gonna make it very attractive. The only problem with the flopper style is that it's very hard to clean the inner surface of the gasket as well as the seal surface. This means that the lifespan and reliability of the flopper style is going to be less than the Y check valve. However, it is very inexpensive and because it comes with unions, it's very easy to replace. So if you're the type of person that replaces things before they're broken, this may be a good option. The Y-check valve, on the other hand, is extremely heavy duty and completely disassembles for cleaning and maintenance. The piston slides right out so you can clean the gasket surface as well as the seal surface on the inside of the valve. This will greatly increase the lifespan of the valve. It's really important to know that while a check valve is relatively reliable, they're far from infallible. If something were to get stuck on the gasket seal, it wouldn't close off properly and would leak water down. This may not be a big deal if your aquarium is in a laundry room with a floor drain, and the only thing the check valve is really protecting you from is cleaning up a mess. However, if your aquarium is in your living room and you have $20,000 boutique hardwood floors, you may want to consider using something more than just a check valve to protect your home from damage. So you can add some redundancy to the system by coupling your check valves with things like putting your return line at the proper height as well as a properly sized sump. However, none of these things will completely solve all the problems. For instance, you can still bump the return line and have it go too deep. And the power surge that killed your return pump could be the same power surge that fused the float switches on your auto top off into the on position. However, if you had a functioning check valve, neither of these things are likely to be a real big problem. It's redundancy and proper planning like this that really saves your tank and home from any serious damage.